We talk about Howie Roseman changing the philosophy when it comes to certain positions, especially the running back position where the Eagles don't, you know, really give out big extensions or sign running backs to multiple years. And this time it might not happen, but possibilities where there's Howie like signings at the running back position might make sense. And this guy might be finally connected to the Philadelphia Eagles. Because I've seen enough horror movies to know any weirdo wearing a mask is never friendly. Yeah, yeah, what's going on, guys? I hope everyone's having a fantastic day today. So I want to go over some news for the Philadelphia Eagles. A few things to go over. Um, considering the running back market, and obviously even since the beginning of last offseason, where kind of the running backs kind of got together and, and kind of tried to, to add this picket line of trying to get more money and that they deserve more, that's a more important position. Um, and, you know, the market, these running backs trying to get 12 plus, 15 plus, 16 plus million dollars. Okay, now rumor to the Philadelphia Eagles as to last year, now to this year, um, Derrick Henry is finally, finally, um, as much as I've been dreaming of this for a lot of years, um, you know, maybe this could finally happen where Derrick Henry uh, will go to the Philadelphia Eagles on a monster one year deal or something like that. We have to remember, I think Derrick Henry's what, 30, 31 years old. I forgot what he is age wise, but he's definitely up there. He's got a lot of wear and tear, um, you know, but you know, for an offense that's not going to run as much, but will get his opportunities. Um, you know, I think, Kellen Moore wants to go back to a power back type, you know, offense, you know, attack with that offensive line, you know, have your running back run north and south, tire them the hell out and obviously balance the pass with it. And, you know, last year, I think we were rumored um, that Derrick Henry was, you know, uh, there was some interest from the Eagles about Derrick Henry and then it just fell through. Um, and then rumors are swirling now that the Eagles and Ravens have interest for Derrick Henry, okay? Now, obviously, uh, with the Ravens, I think they, what, they steal. You know, they had J.K. Dobbins out with a huge injury, and then, obviously, the um, signing Dalvin Cook, you know, didn't really have much time once they signed him. They signed him very, very late. I think they signed him during the playoffs. I could be wrong, um, and obviously, they didn't make it to the Super Bowl. So, um, this is very interesting because I feel like, Teams would rather franchise tag a running back than pay a running back a long-term extension. Teams would rather sign running backs coming off of injury than sign them to a long-term extension. Teams would rather just sign a running back with on a one-year deal. Or, like I said, I don't think teams really want to sign running backs to big extensions because the shelf life is not long in careers especially if you sign a guy like derrick henry you're not looking to sign him to a long-term deal i don't think any teams are looking to sign him to a long-term deal realistically i mean i wouldn't okay because if he was 26 27 probably be a different story but since he's 30 31 years old you know you got to be careful here like i said the philosophy needs to change but running back it might not as much as i want deandre swift back they might not sign him to a multi-year extension Okay, but he is young. You know, he's 25 years old. That's the difference. And last year, he barely played that much. <laughs> you know what I mean? So signing Swift, because he didn't play that much last year, didn't get a lot, still had over, just hit over 1,000 yards, second to last game of the season. I would rather, okay, sign DeAndre Swift because, the, like, there's really no wear and tear with him. With Derrick Henry, that Titans offense was based off of building around a running back, never really having a quarterback, but you don't build your team around a running back. That's that's the dumbest thing I ever heard of. It's what the Titans really haven't done much. Um, you know, and I think at this point with Derrick Henry, if a guy that's not going to get that many snaps, if he's not getting, you know, 23 snaps, you know, 18 to 23 snaps a game, you know, then it's fine to have a guy like this. But I feel like if you sign a Derrick Henry, you need a counterpart. You need a counterpiece to Derrick Henry. So if they sign Derrick Henry on a one-year deal or they sign DeAndre Swift or both, you know, it would make more sense. If they sign DeAndre Swift and A.J. Dillon, it would make more sense. It would be a dream scenario for me. 
I don't know if they would pay like two running backs um, on, you know, short term deals for a lot of money um, combined. You know, I think what cost are the Eagles running backs last year for the whole entire running back group was like six million dollars, four to six million. It wasn't much because the Eagles don't put a lot of money into that position. You know what I mean? Uh, I think. Swift was only due like over a million dollars last year against the cap. I mean, it really wasn't, it wasn't much. You trade him and the, you traded him on the third day of the draft. You traded for him um, and gave away a 20, what a 25 fourth round pick, which was like, literally you basically got DeAndre Swift for nothing. And then you barely did anything with him the whole entire year. Just wasn't enough for me, especially in the passing game as well. But getting these running backs now, you know, the Derrick Henry move could be a one-year type move because I don't know what Derrick Henry is looking for. If he's looking for a multi-year extension with all this all this money, I doubt if he's even getting, going to get it at this point. Not going to get the money, not going to get the years that he wants, but a short-term deal, especially at his age, he should kind of get those bigger one-year guaranteed money type deals, kind of like LeGarrette Blunt did after the Eagles Super Bowl was starting to starting to sign those one-year, two-year, you know, really those one-year deals with more guaranteed money up front. And I think that's what the Eagles should do if they decide to go in this direction. Okay, I know Derrick Henry wants to go to a Super Bowl team. He wants to go to a contender. I think, you know, he deserves it obviously, um, and coming to the Eagles behind this offensive line, what Derrick Henry would do with, like I said, I don't think Derrick Henry and Gainwell are like your one, two. Okay. If you bring in a Derrick Henry, I think they got to sign one more guy. I think you got to have three running backs on the roster. They kept four last year and didn't use one of them in Rashad Penny. So I'm figuring there there's, there, there needs to be a counterpiece with speed and dual threat because, Kellen Moore likes to put these receivers as, sorry, put these running backs as pass catchers as well. So, you know, they did it with, you know, Kellen Moore did it with Austin Eckler. Um, and, and Derrick Henry's not the type of guy they're going to do that with. Um, it would have to be, you know, DeAndre Swift. It, there would have to be a, a two set signing with a complimentary piece with Derrick Henry and somebody else, whether it's Swift or somebody else, I don't know. Uh, but I think finally the Eagles will have some sort of interest in bringing him in and signing him. Um, you know, a guy that's not going to get crazy amount of reps because you want you don't want to go crazy and tire him out all year. But at the same time, you know, you got to have other running backs in the room that they could use specifically for other things. Um, and I don't want Derrick Henry to be the main focal point in the running back room in general for his age, the wear and tear. You know, uh, he's he's had you know he's had what he's had like what uh, one two thousand yard season and a few. I mean, he's got a lot. He's ran the ball a lot in his career. Okay. And you don't want to go crazy with it. Um, but, you know, if you're thinking that Howie Roseman is going to sign a running back to multi-years for high guaranteed money, it's not going to happen. As much as I want Swift in the building, I don't think they're going to re-sign him. Okay. I think they're looking for a one-year deal type running back. And I they'll still think they should go into the draft and draft a, a rotational guy in the mid-rounds. No doubt. A day three pick, something like that. They'll find somebody, especially behind this offensive line. You can make a lot of guys look good. But if they find somebody a little nugget a little bit of a uh you know a some something great in the draft that's on the third day that really someone that he can grow into this offense really well um you know game alter was a fifth round pick and he's playing pretty well for a fifth round pick you know as much as we're not the biggest fans of gain well uh you know I, when they treat a guy like that like the main focal point it makes me worry a little bit so you would rather sign a derrick henry to a one-year deal you would rather pick up you would rather franchise tag I would rather franchise tag a running back than pay him a multi-year extension. You know, I would rather pay a guy as much as for the Philadelphia Eagles as what Howie wants. He might want to sign a guy like J.K. Dobbins, which he's been linked to the Eagles as well. And a guy, he would rather sign a guy coming off an ACL where he's going to cost nothing, but it's a you know, low risk, high reward move because how much is J.K. Dobbins going to get paid off of a big injury? I, I really don't know. You know what I mean? So um, you have youth right there, but at the same time, take advantage of the injury he had and, you know, well, he'll be cheap to sign. So let's sign him. Let's bring him in because the value isn't that the value is there. But like I said, going into this year with money wise, like they could take advantage of this situation to just pay a running back cheaper because of something happened to them. 
whether it's an injury or something like that. So Howie Roseman is smart in that way to where, you know, if you can get some high value off of some off of an injury or something where the Eagles can say, oh, we can get him for nothing because of this injury. But, you know, we have to make sure, you know, to talk to his agents to make sure that he's in good shape, you know, and could be an added piece for the Philadelphia Eagles and the running back, and you know, the running back core. So I think there's plenty of running backs available for the Philadelphia Eagles, especially in free agency. If they want to go after one of those guys, I think they have to go after a free agent running back somewhere. One of them has got to be available for the Eagles and have, because Gainwell is the only running back. I'm not even really high on bringing Boston Scott back at this point, because I just don't think they want to use him. I don't think Kellen Moore wants to use him and, Unfortunately, you know, kick returns, that's all he really does. So, I mean, save the million dollars you're going to save with bringing Boston Scott here. Um, his time is, I think his time should be done in Philly. They got to go through it towards a new avenue when it comes to bringing in running backs. And would I love a long-term answer for years as running back? Sure. But I don't think the Eagles are going to do that this year. I think they'll change safety. I think they'll put a lot into linebacker. But when it comes to running back, I still don't think, and I agree, like, I don't think you should pay, uh, you know, a running back $40 million for four years. I just don't, I, I just, I'm not interested in it. You know what I mean? If you're going to pay a guy five to, you know, five to seven million a year, I'm okay with that. But 10 plus, I'm not even interested, to be honest, which 10 million is really not that bad. It's lower than the average price. Um, but, you know, we'll see what happens. But Derrick Henry's always been in connection with this team and, and could, they could get him late to, you know, uh, just just imagine what, what he would look like behind the offensive line going forward. And J.K. Dobbins, because it's a nice little dual threat for the Eagles that they could get on a cheaper note because of the injury he had. So there's a lot out there the Eagles can get and very excited to see what they do down the road now other players that can be acquired for the philadelphia eagles especially a wide receiver what position are we looking at offensively that has been really not as not used as much or we haven't really had a high talent at that position or what we thought we had talent at that position is wide receiver three as quez Watkins hasn't really shown up to be that bona fide wide receiver three that we've always wanted him to be he's got the speed but really didn't have the capability of really paying attention during some of these games where you know when your number is called you have to be ready for it and there were and there were you just can't trust certain guys I don't think we could trust Quez Watkins which he will be walking and I don't think Alamade Zacchaeus was uh Alamade Zacchaeus was a bad player for us just underutilized and not used at all a lot of offensive players were not used when Goddard was really playing this year really wasn't used a lot of guys weren't used at all and wide receiver three and you know with Kellen Moore running his offense he pulls every strand of what he uses for his offense Okay, and gets the best out of every player that he has. And what player would he want to bring to the Philadelphia Eagles that is a free agent, I think, is Noah Brown which news has been coming out on him, could play inside receiver, could play outside receiver, is all around pretty good receiver, averaging over five over 500 yards the last couple seasons. And obviously was with the Cowboys, but obviously no, Kellen Moore has a lot of connection with Noah Brown, obviously. So I guess it would make sense, um, you know, for for you know Noah Brown to, to be here for the Philadelphia Eagles. Could this be the big signing offensively that they do make? Because really, other than some offensive line depth and a running back, wide receiver three is just one of those few positions that they really need because – you know, as much as I like Britton Covey, I think he'll be that gadget type guy. I hope they use him that way, but I don't think he's the major focal point at wide receiver three. And the depth at receiver, eh, it's not sincerely really that great right now. So they got to bring in somebody that's going to be playing all year. That's going to be the main focal point at that one position. And um, I think you'll have something here. And Kellen Moore, looking at guys that he's been sex to successful with in the past, is doesn't surprise me at all. And Noah Brown has is, is definitely had some good moments in the NFL, especially with the Dallas Cowboys uh, so a lot of good things to take into account when it comes to receiver as much as you can go into the draft and get a lad McConkey or something like that as much as I want those small twitchy you know slot receivers um, they might go the extra route and say you know what we need somebody that's already proven somebody I know I can use and you know what I really wouldn't mind this signing whatsoever I think this would be a fantastic signing for the Philadelphia Eagles Noah Brown won't get a lot of the attention on the field but damn he might be a, a player that gets five to eight hundred yards just because of the attention that other guys are getting and Jalen Hurts extending plays and the offensive line with the good protection I think there'll be a lot of good things to take away from it so I think this would be uh, a big move going forward no doubt so definitely another name to watch down the road when it comes to receiver as much as we don't need that much on offense uh, besides depth and running back 
you know, wide receiver three, you know, you're missing a starter there and uh, you kind of need one. And um, interesting to see like who they bring in. And if Noah Brown is there, then great, you know, bring him in. But other than that, guys, that's pretty much it. We talked about the running back market. We talked about Derrick Henry. We talked about J.K. Dobbins. We talked about not having a running back in general and how the Eagles are, you know, the M.O. is they don't sign running backs to, you know, multiple years. And I think this is going to be the year where they are, they're not going to do that. I think, you know, at this point, I feel like you need two running backs, um, whether they want to get one in free agency and maybe draft a dual threat or draft someone that's quicker. I, I don't know what they're going to do, but Derrick Henry, J.K. Dobbins, take advantage of them because of their ages and obviously injury and stuff like that. Um, Eagles can get them for a little bit cheaper. Derrick Henry, you're going to want to pay him the amount he's going to want to get paid on a short-term deal because it's not going to be a long-term at his age and where he's at and the wear and tear. You know, we'll see what happens. But let me let me guys know let me know what you guys think about Derrick Henry, J.K. Dobbins, and even Noah Brown coming into this offense because he's you know played with Kellen Moore. He's been coached under Kellen Moore, so I guess it would make a lot of sense. But I'll see you guys on the next one. You guys enjoy the rest of your day. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more Eagles news every single day. And definitely hit the like button. Um, does help out the channel tremendously. So appreciate the support. Everybody that's been watching the vids and commenting about every Eagles situation because we are getting closer to free agency. It's going to be a lot of fun. So you guys enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you guys on the next one. Shake some up. Follow us. Peace out, guys. Peace.